I'm Ashton Hiron, joined by Paul Rennie, Managing Director of Paradigm Biopharmaceuticals. Thanks so much for joining us. Could you start us off by running through some highlights for 2023? Yes, thanks, Ashton. Um, so uh, viewers probably understand that Paradigm Biopharmaceuticals is a company that is uh, developing the drug pentazan polysulfate sodium for the blockbuster opportunity of treating osteoarthritis. So 2023 was a very important year for the company. We did two major uh, activities. One was that we finished a second phase two study. So again, um, listeners to your program might understand that uh, in terms of clinical development, there are three major phases, phase one, phase two, phase three, and uh, you need to go through all of those phases and then submit all of your data to the regulatory agencies. And if the regulatory agencies are um, happy with the, the data and there are no outstanding issues, they can then uh, provide marketing authorization for the company to go forward and start commercializing the product. And of course, then generate some very substantial revenues. So we, we finished a second phase two study and we also finished stage one of a phase three study. That stage one was a dose ranging study. So we looked at a number of different doses to determine what was our minimal effective dose for the second stage of our phase three study, uh, which is coming up in 2024. So we finished that stage and we identified our dose. So we're all good to go in 2024 uh, with our phase three program. And now that you mentioned 2024, could you talk us through some of the broader priorities and key activities you have planned? Sure, Ashton. So the key priorities for 2024 uh, as a, a company, our operational activities is to continue to preserve our cash. Our cash is going to be very important throughout 2024. Phase three clinical trials are expensive. So we are making sure that we can get through 2024 uh, with the cash that we have on hand. Uh, we're continuing to look at ways of uh, obtaining non-dilutive funding uh, through way of a commercial deal or some other mechanisms to make sure that we uh, continue to keep an eye on the cash for future um, years so that we are well funded into 2025 as well. And also we are um, looking to progress our uh, discussions with the US FDA uh, we're looking to uh, get agreement with the FDA with our dose of two milligram per kilogram twice a week. We've had one meeting with the FDA already this year, 2024, and we're looking to have a, a definitive meeting with them at the end of March and then move forward with that particular dose that I just mentioned. And in addition to that, we are filing some documents for a determination outcome with the Therapeutic Goods Administration here in Australia. So again, we would hope that we uh, qualify for the provisional approval pathway. And if we do, we could see the product on the Australian market as early as June 2025. Wow, that is huge news, Paul. And that is one reason to be excited. But if you could explain it to investors watching in 60 seconds or less, why do you think they should be excited about Paradigm? Certainly, Essen. I, th I think with any product, uh, whether it be a pharmaceutical product or consumer product, uh, it's always very important for investors to understand that there is a need in the market. You're never going to have a real blockbuster company or organisation if there's no real demand or need for your product. In the case of osteoarthritis with an ageing population, with increase in body mass index, people becoming heavier, putting more pressure on the joints, osteoarthritis is on the increase. And there's very few products on the market that really treat this disease in a substantial way, like our drug has been shown to treat people with osteoarthritis in our phase two study. So it is a huge market opportunity. And I think that's why investors should really consider Paradigm Biopharmaceuticals, because we have a drug that's worked in phase two study. We're in, merging now into a phase three study, one step before registration. And there is a huge opportunity financial large market that's waiting for new treatments for people with osteoarthritis. Amazing. Thanks so much for the chat, Paul. Thank you, Ashton. Thanks again.